Greetings animal lovers and welcome to how to help animals. Depending on what goals you have with your garden, it might benefit you to have animals visiting now and then. In this video, we'll discuss 10 ways to invite animals to your garden and how you can help each other. If you want to know more, check the link in the description. Number 1. Chickens will help you with the pest control and enriching the soil. Chickens are a great addition to your garden. Chickens will help you with worms, insects, and slugs. They also help you with fertilizing your garden and enriching your soil. Number 2. Guinea pigs will cut your grass and fertilize your lawn. Raising guinea pigs in your garden is so much easier than chickens. Collecting the guinea pig's poop and mixing it with water is an excellent way to make a great fertilizer. Number 3. Start vermicompost. Whether you have a garden or not, you should have your own compost. The most effective way to compost is to take the help of worms. Worms help to faster break down leftover food and other dead things that you put in the compost. You will need to have a mix between carbon-based materials, often referred as browns, and nitrogen-based materials, referred as greens. Number 4. Let earthworms aerate the garden. While the red wrigglers thrive in your compost, the earthworms are perfect for aerating the soil in your garden. They dig deep and make tunnels for air, water, and roots to go through. After being fed, they leave worms castings full of nutrients, which work as an excellent fertilizer. Number 5. Bees will help you pollinate the flowers. Being friends with bees is a great thing. If the bees were to go extinct, we can say goodbye to almost all fruits and vegetables out there. We have to do whatever we can to encourage bees into our garden and letting them help us. There are three easy ways of inviting bees. Build a bee hotel, build a bee bar, or plant flowers bees like. Before we go to number six, what do you call a dead bee? A zombie. Number six. Invite insects to get rid of other insects. Let me guess, you're not a friend of aphids, right? You're not alone. An easy way to get rid of aphids is to invite ladybugs, lacewings, and more birds into your garden. The best way is to place a water source and shelter, and the rest will solve itself. Number 7. Frogs and toads will help you with the slug infestation. Having a small pond in your garden will do an excellent job of attracting wildlife, and especially frogs and toads. Frogs are carnivores, which means they only eat meat. There's no risk the frogs will do anything to adventure your crops. They will have full focus on the slugs. Check out our video on how to attract frogs to your garden, link down below. Number 8. Hedgehogs can also help you with slugs. If you don't want your garden full of frogs and toads, hedgehogs might be your thing. Hedgehogs don't only eat slugs. They also eat beetles, snakes, worms, and insects. If you want to learn how to encourage hedgehogs to your garden, check out our other video. 9 ways on how to encourage hedgehogs to your garden. Before we jump over to number 9, did you know that almost all countries have their own word for a hedgehog? I do like hedgehog the most though. Number 9. Butterflies are your assistant gardener. Just as bees pollinate the flowers in your garden, so do butterflies. Why not combine the best of two worlds and have both bees and butterflies working together? Plant some butterfly-friendly flowers like sage, lavender, and liatris. You can also install a cute butterfly house where they can rest. Number 10. Birds will help you with caterpillars. Are caterpillars eating your plants? If so, you'll need to attract more birds to your garden. 
Install some bird feeders and one or two bird houses in your garden. Soon enough, the caterpillar problem will be exchanged with birds chirping. Want to know 7 easy ways how you can help birds during the winter? Stay to the end of the video and click on the suggested video. There you have it, 10 easy ways on how to invite animals into your garden. If you want to learn more about one specific way, make sure to check the links below. Please check out our other videos. If you want to learn ways on how to help animals, make sure to click the subscribe button and like this video.